Chef, and today we've got an awesome recipe for you that I've been really looking forward to. This looks just too good to pass up. So this is a Lucky Charms pie. Look at that. That looks delicious. The crust is made out of the cereal itself, and then all the layers are made out of the marshmallows, and then the topping is the Lucky Charms themselves. So a couple problems that we ran into. I wasn't sure if I needed to use the piping bags or not. But it turns out I did because when I put the first layer in with the bowl, it didn't all the way meet all the edges. So the second one, I used the icing bag and it turned out a lot better. So I don't think that the layers are going to come out as thick and as even as on her pan because it seems like there was more filling with hers than ours. But we used the same size pan, so maybe uh, she just added more marshmallows into it. So. If you are going to make this dish, maybe use a smaller springform pan. I didn't have enough Lucky Charms marshmallows, so what I ended up doing was I just took some leftover marshmallows from the actual pie itself and I just mixed it in. So let's finally cut this open. In the video they did not use a spatula to go around, but I'm going to do it this time because I want it to come out not sticking. So let's pop this baby out. So, while this isn't perfect, it did come out better than we expect to. It has the layers that you can see, so it has the purple, yellow, and the pink, and then I think the blue kind of got lost in there. But besides that, it looks pretty good, so let's slice this thing open. Gotta be able to cut through that cereal crust. If you look on the inside, you can see the blue and all the, of the different layers. Let's try this puppy. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a rainbow. Okay. You know what? Who needs forks? Psh. Get out of here. You know what I do with forks that don't work? Put them in trash. charms in a pie form it's really good actually so this is a great dish and I would recommend it for anybody who loves Lucky Charms because he's good and is magically delicious it's kind of a cream cheese milk base so the milk inside the cake kind of acts as your milk if you were eating cereal and it just this just turned out perfectly it's not overly sweet which I really like it, even though to contrary belief some kids don't like super sweet things. In fact, I like dark chocolate. It's out in the open. Conspiracy theory averted. This is a great recipe, and I just love it. Make sure to follow my Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Mason Partak, and then follow my Facebook at Mason Made It. And also check out my website online. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an easy day.